Getting a great monitor mix for your band can be a challenge, especially as we are increasing channel counts uh, across our uh, worship services and events and, and all that we're doing with tracks and band and vocals and all the things. Live Mix has a great new solution that's gonna allow you to do up to 64 channels. Let's go check it out. All right, I'm with my man Andy at the Live Mix booth here, and uh, we've been big fans of Live Mix for, I, gosh, what, 10 years 10 now? Years, 12 yeah. years, something like that? Um, and it's great, Been always been a great personal mixer option, um, but like we're going next level here this fall. Yeah, you bet. So in September, we're launching our Live Mix Pro, and when we first launched Live Mix, there were, we were the first ones really to have 24 channels. That right. was a big deal. But now 24 channels is limiting because right. tracks, yeah. keyboards, you know, we just expect a lot, of, a lot more stereo. I mean, we can do 24 tracks just in drums. Just in drums. <laughs> yeah, that, that's right. Unless you have a, an electric kit, you know, which I love that. I could do it. Anyway. So, Live Mix Pro. We are... 64 channels. Yeah. You got still have that EQ compression yeah, yeah. on reverb on every channel. The brilliant part about this is we still want it to be simple to use because yeah. a lot of times I mean, we're we're talking about vocalists who perform twice a month. Right. Um, their only concept of mixing is like when I'm turning I don't know what what's Paw Patrol is the I mean, big they're thing not now. audio guys, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're yeah, moving yeah. Paw Patrol to the back of the van instead right. of the front, right? That's <laughs> right. That's mixing. <laughs> and so we wanted to make sure this was still easy to use. So yeah. we have 64 channels. We have the ability to set the max channels. So 64 if you need it. But if you only need 32, you only see 32. Only see what you need. Yeah. You only see yeah, what yeah. you need. In addition, we've got a, a new way of mixing. So you can mix in your, what we call it a channel overview, where you see right. all the channels at once. But you can also go into a group view, where you're only mixing your groups, right. Right, your stems, if you will, although they're not really stems. Yeah, they, so for, for the audio guys out there, it's the idea of putting everything into a DCA for your, yeah. your, so you can have a drum DCA, guitar DCA. Now, one of the things we really love on our consoles, of course, is once we, everything's in a DCA, we really like DCA spill, yeah. so I can find all my drum channels. Yeah. What does this have? Well, it's, it's the same type of thing, right? So you have your drum group. I'm going to go into my expanded view, and I'm going to see all my drum channels. So you can group them, but then you can get into that group real fast. Expand them. So now, that's awesome. it doesn't have to necessarily be either just a drum group, right? right? Because we have the me group. So you say okay. your me group, and if you are a drummer, your it, me group might be your drums, your bass, the lead guitar, and it's whatever vocals, you want it to be. Right? Yeah. And then you're mixing on this page of 16 channels because you don't need pads. Right. You just need these these key things. Right. So it's still super easy to get a mix, even though you've got 64 channels. And I think that's the big challenge, right? Is yeah. how do you make things? So I love the fact that these are touch screen. I mean, so they're, you know, we're all used to our iPhones, our yeah, yeah. iPads, whatever. So like, it's very intuitive that way. But being able to get 64 channels of data into a manageable group. I mean, most musicians probably are gonna need eight groups, really, yeah. at the end of the sure. day. You know, drums, guitars, keys, those kinds of right. things, right? So making that really manageable, that's really impressive. So yeah, we want it to be not only easy to mix, but also wanted people to have the ability to get help. And okay. so we have a feature called Mirror Mix. And a lot of times we'll put one of those little solo guys yeah. um, back at the front of house, right? Sits, sits on the board. And now in Mirror Mix, I can go in and see all of the other nodes in the system. So now I'm gonna select one, and now I'm listening to Kelly on, yeah. on stage. Yeah. My intercom at this point goes only to Kelly, not to everybody. Okay. So, hey Kelly, I see you only have toms and hi hat. Right. Do, do you need Do you need a little bit of help? She's like, yes, please. Right. Right. So now I can go in and build a mix for her, or I can send a mix from my box to her. Now, in addition to that, we have what we're calling global mirror mix, that I can send a known good mix or starter mix, starter groups yeah. to, let's say, my backline. Let's say there's four people on background vocals. I'm going to send that to them. Here's your starting place. Now all you need to do is your, your mute volume. That's awesome. So it really allows people to get the help yeah. because a lot of times in our, there's there's a, uh, people are afraid to ask for some, some reason. Well, nobody wants to look stupid, yeah. right? Or like they didn't listen at the training. Or didn't get it. But yeah. no, I, I think that's always been one of a, a great feature with the, the older product and with the newer project. The fact that I can, from front of house, jump in and help them without having to come up, unplug their ears, yes. plug mine in, get it done. Like they can, we can work together on this. Yeah. That's huge. Well, and, and for years it was always the more of me, right? right. And, and rightly so actually, because we're sharing a floor wedge. 
Right. You know, we're standing too far back and we've got three of us. Right. So the first one is right on axis getting blasted. The second one is like, I can't hear me because I'm right. off axis. So rightly so. However, we never knew what someone was saying when they say, I need more of me. What does the mix sound like actually? Right. So in this case, being able to jump in and hear no, what huge. their challenges are. And it's actually a great training tool too. Right. Like, oh, do you right. want this? Oh yeah. Oh no, she doesn't like this. Now we're going right. to take these out. So well, and I love the fact that there's two formats for this thing. So there's a single channel output version, and then there's a dual. The dual. Um, I, I think everybody gets the single one. But talk to us about because the dual's not new for you guys. What's no. the idea behind that? So in order to be a good value for churches, uh, we put two mixers in one box. Yeah. And they're totally discreet. You have an A side, red that's mix, blue, blue mix. yeah, and a and a B side that's red. And they're separate headphone amplifiers, separate controls. So let's go, if my blue side is in control, I'm adjusting my master. It doesn't impact the other person's mix at all. Right. I can adjust my me, it doesn't impact at all. Now, if I need to adjust something, this will take control over to the other yeah, side. Yeah, the screen goes red. I like the visual yep. there, so it goes red and blue. So your your cost comes down to, I believe this box is going to be 850. Okay. But really it's two mixes in one box. Right, so right. you've got your, Two so guitar if you have players. folks like standing closer to each other, you know, like drums and bass, they're often pretty close to each other. Yeah. So they could share a box. They share a box. Yeah. Yep. Um, I always like this uh, too. A lot of times uh, we'd put them in, in in churches that everybody was really spread out, but we'd still put the duels in because if you had somebody new come in for rehearsal, yeah. like you didn't have to drop a whole nother mixer and a whole nother thing. Like they could just plug in get a mix set and they could just play along. Even if they weren't in the system, yeah. they could just play along listening to what everybody else is doing. Well, and the other thing is Christmas and Easter. That's right. a thing? You, <laughs> you know, a, you double the, your band for the, Christmas too? The World Series <laughs> and the Super Bowl, right? The bands expand, Yeah, you've got the extra channels to yeah. be able to do that. Well, um, this thing is really nice too in that the ability to work with Dante, you know, it's, it's yeah. integrated Dante out of the box. But actually, we can publish things back to Dante more. So your two-channel mix can go back to Dante if you need right. to send. Like, we have ch some churches that are going to use this for their broadcast mix. Totally. Right? Because it's totally. not a whole separate console. The feeds are already there. Yep. And it's easy for train somebody on. Here's right. how you just make this broadcast And, and with Global Master 4-band EQ, yep. with compressors, there's, like, there's basic processing on all of this. So... It legit can be a basic broadcast mix. Yep. So I love the fact that it's all Dante. That integration is fantastic. Being able to send my mix back to my my output box via Dante, so yep. it goes in my in ears, so I don't have to have this weird concoction sitting on the floor out in <laughs> front of how or at uh, at the band's feet is great. So you, you might still have a weird concoction, but it's not our fault anymore. Fair enough. Yeah. That, that had just happened. So there there's a, a lot of features in here, but I think the biggest thing is. Um, it's just super easy to use. Just really intuitive, very visual. Um, the, you know, the colors follow, so it's it's just it's very clear, very crisp, yeah. and super simple to use. Even though we're dumping four, 64 channels 64. there, yeah. which could get intense really fast. Yeah. So, all right. So one of the cool things we liked about the legacy system yeah. is that this was really uh, we could do analog, like we could yep. get analog into live mix mode, and life was good. But one of the biggest advantages for Yamaha ecosystem, or really any of the consoles now yeah. will do Dante, but Yamaha's you know native Dante. But like this being all Dante based, just makes life easy. easy. It's cat. It is. It's it's a simple cable. And actually, you mentioned uh, Yamaha. We've been working with them okay. to be on their device list, so Ooh. it's even quicker, all right. and easier to set up over Dante. But yeah, so we've it's native Dante instead of having an option card. It's just okay. in the box. Yeah, native Dante, sixty four channels bring it 6.4 in, and we can actually send then these two mixes back out on right. Dante. I can send my intercom back out onto Dante, right. uh, the auxiliary. So that's if you have a click track, you know, that you need to send a click track a or a worship pastor at practice wants to play a track for everybody. Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, so yeah, full Dante. And then we're going to have a box called the AD16, mostly in studios that need mm. to convert analog into Dante, right. instead of converting analog into, uh, we call it the digital audio net right, before. Right. Now it's just, we're gonna convert it into Dante, and then you come into the native system, and, and actually that's a box you could be used in anywhere. Right. And, the, and our background is in audio recording, and so we built this Dante converter. Yeah. It's really rad. It's really rad. Nice. Yeah. All right, very cool. 
Um, well, this is this is really awesome. So this is the the, the Live Mix Pros coming September 2024. Um, Pricing wise, it's like 10 to 15% more than the legacy stuff, which yeah. is amazing. Um, so it's a lot more horsepower for very, very little more cost. So uh, we're excited about these. If you think this would fit in your environment, want to learn more about it, uh, please hit us up. We'd love to talk to you more about this uh, and any other solutions you need.